saw everyone here was when we were celebrating my parents' 60th wedding anniversary. And um, so I think when I last spoke, I talked a lot about what family means. And uh, so I'm not going to repeat any of that, but I think what it really means is that we all have very memorable moments. And this is, this is another one of them that we're really fortunate enough to sort of uh, have a collective um, collection of memorable moments. And uh, so I'm not going to be actually doing the talking this time. What we thought we would do was to start it off with, and I think you've heard a bit from Andrew, um, and we thought what we would do is we would actually invite each of the grandchildren to just share a few thoughts about their grandparents. And just to remind you, we're here for a birthday celebration. We're here to celebrate my father's 90th birthday and my mom's 85th birthday. And I just want to share with you that I live in Toronto, and so speaking with colleagues and friends there, I'm always showing pictures of my family, pictures of my parents. And um, one of the comments that I get all the time is, oh my god, I can't believe your parents. I sort of say, there's my dad, and my dad is he's 90, and my mom's 85, and they look at us like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. And now, it's starting to make me feel really good. <laughs> I'm so happy. Because yeah. I think, hope we get the jeans. Because one, I'm hoping we get the jeans, and then the other thing is, okay, I've had someone just say it just last week. They said like, your parents are like that old? They must have had you when they were old. I just kind of go, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> probably did. So, so the last thing is yeah. to share that with, with friends and colleagues. And I don't have, really have to respond. I just smile and kind of go, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so there is no speech to me this year. Um, and as I said, it, it is really, I, I really truly believe that life is all about having memorable moments and being able to share these things with people that you care about. And when we organized this lunch, luncheon, um, mom and dad were very, um, we just have said, you know what, invite, invite the people that you want to enjoy this time with. So um, we're glad that you were able to join us. And we're going to start, I'm going to sort of be a bit of an MC. But we're going to start with Michael. And Michael is the eldest grandchild. And Michael is going to come up here. He's going to spend a few minutes. And the other thing is, I, I want to let you all know. I want to let you all know that um, I said, you know what, it doesn't have to be long. It just has to be something that you want to share with the guests about your grandparents. And that's really the only direction that we, we set. Just what, what's special to you about your grandparents? Uh, Michael is the eldest son of Gaming and Gaming. Hi, everybody. Uh, well, I was supposed to talk about memories, but my brother actually took the, one of the big memories, because like, the trucker hat was something I always remember from Hugo yeah. Bill. I don't know, that's always stuck with me, so originally I was going to do something about that, but I decided, well, I can't do that anymore. So the thing I remember most about well, both of you is you've always instilled so much um, values for family. You've always, you've always said the family's always going to be there for you. You can always, you can always ask family for everything. And, well, you guys all know I was, I'm, I'm not, I was not the easiest kid, let's put it that way. <laughs> yes, and, that's true. That's very true. I think I'm that. We all agree. We all agree. Okay, I fully admit I was a brat. Yeah, you were. Yeah. So, but, and my point is, I, I, I did have some tough times. Everyone, everyone knows that from my eczema to even going through university and all that. And all the family was always there for me. And I've all, I always knew from the beginning, Papa and Gong, you've, you've always said you value family so much. And w without that, I don't, I don't know where I would be without, without those values. I'm, I'm now in Toronto. I'm kind of able to keep up the legs. I'm an engineer here. I'm an electrical engineer, too. And I know that that makes you proud. And, and just me being there and being able to, to have a happy life. All the family support behind you. And an aunt. And an aunt. <laughs> it's all, it's all, all, all my family is from, like, even from Aunt Tomorrow picking me up to even Uncle Larry, Uncle Warren, Uncle Doug when I was here in Vancouver. Just anything. And I know that always came from you guys. And that's, that's the most memorable thing I have, I have from you guys. So I just want to say happy birthday and thank you very much for everything.
Gung Gong, strong-willed and cheerful, and Kapo, calm and wise. Not only strong in mind, but strong in arm wrestling as well. <laughs> I remember as a child, I'd always prop myself up on a chair and challenge Gung Gong to arm wrestle. Um, I see a lot of myself in Gung Gong, especially the whole strong-willed part. Not only that, but he is a constant reminder of my Chinese heritage. Growing up, I never thought too deep about my culture. Being conflicted with cultural identity issues because I was half white, I felt like I never quite fit in in either culture. Although I do still pride myself on individuality, as I grew older, I began to wonder about my Chinese roots. What does it mean to be Chinese? Is it the red envelopes you get when you're younger? <laughs> um, is it your Chinese name? Is it the disappointment you feel when you get oranges for dessert instead of red bean soup? <laughs> Or is it just being humble? I realized it is all of these things. That is what Gong Gong has made me realize. That isn't to say I haven't learned anything from Popo. I remember once, we were talking about arthritis pain, and she told me how although it prevented her from doing certain things she liked doing, she learned to enjoy other things. You can learn, you just learn to accept it, she said. And since then, that piece of advice has stuck with me. Both of them have been a big influence on my life and continue to be so. And I know as I grow older and older, I'll carry more of them with me. Happy birthday. Okay, Vanessa, did you want to come up? Okay. Okay, so we're going to talk Vanessa. And 
and uh, Vanessa is Larry and Lai Ching's daughter. And okay. Okay. So we'll just have we'll just have Vanessa. Okay. First of all, I want to say happy birthday to Yulia and Linai. And just thank you for being like the best grandparents in the world because you're so nice and loving and caring. And you always have like something to offer and make us feel comfortable. And you're so like, it's indescribable because you always like show so much love and stuff and passion towards what you do. And I think it's what makes you like such great people. So I want to thank you for that. And happy birthday. And uh, Christine, do you want to join us as well, Christine? So we've got Christine, and, Chris, and Christine is Warren and Hong Yu's daughter. And she's going to share something. Um, so this wasn't really prepared because I had no idea I was going to share something until now, really, well, this luncheon. And so I wrote a little list because um, when I'm on stage, my memory goes blank. So, especially when I don't practice. So I have a list, and um, I'd like to share a few things that I remember, and a few things that are happening now. Um, so, first on my list is letters. Like, all the time, I will send letters to Mama, and she'll send letters back. All the time. Um, I have a whole stack full of letters that she sent me, and I just love the experience. Um, I know nowadays people are like, oh, you write letters, and then they're like, what, what are letters? <laughs> right? I Because the only thing you get now in the mail is bills, right? <laughs> so, okay. so, so I, and you feel like whenever you get a letter, you feel so happy, right? So that's why... I wanted to bring a bit of that back, and I decided Mama was a perfect person to send letters to. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wrote letters. And I also have knitting. That's another thing I brought back, or Mama helped me bring back from the past. She helped me knit, and then I, it was just such a big part of my life now, right? So at school, I started a knitting club. Everybody, like, in the newspaper, I remember reading that knitting is coming back, and I feel like I'm glad to be a part of it. And that's another thing that's from the past that Mama really helped me with. Um, and another thing I remember is every single time I go to Mama and Yeye's house, I always see Yeye gardening. It's, his <laughs> garden is just so amazing. I wish I had a garden like that. It's just so amazing. He gardens and it's amazing for someone his age. <laughs> like, a garden like that. I, but honestly, if I was... If I live to be 90, I, I don't know if my back could stand that. <laughs> so, um, that's all what I always remember about Ye Ye whenever I go to another house is gardening. And that is also that's what I love about gardening and nature. That's what brought me closer to nature. Um, another thing about Ye Ye is every time I see him, he gives me big hugs. I just love his hugs. <laughs> They're just so... Big and warm, just, right? They're tight. They're warm, right? Um, and then I'm just going to share. The last thing I'm going to share is just a memory. I remember on the boat, like this, just shows how much Mama cares, and yeah, yeah, they care for me so much, right? On the boat, I remember it was a ferry coming back home. I felt sick, and I was sick. I threw up in the um, I threw up in the car, and then I know Mama remembers it right now. She's laughing. It was a very bad experience, but I still it just shows how much they care. I remember me. I was just so I was panicky, right? So and Mama, she helped me throughout the whole thing. She was calm. She helped me clean up, right? She was just there, right? So thank you. Thank you, Christine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's for those who've got Sarah. Come here. Sarah is Christine's sister. Oh, Sarah wants to say something to you. And Sarah also is born in Home King's daughter. So all the words over to you, Sarah. We have to listen. Happy birthday, Mom. I really, really like you because you are my daddy's daddy and my daddy's mom. And last time I remember that we had a bubble bath. <laughs> and we also, I remember when you went to get, get a big coffee scarf and it was so warm. Coffee scarf. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. And we went to the beach, and I remember when I get my feet all wet. Yeah. And I remember when we were at the beach, and then you sprayed water on my feet with a hose. <laughs> oh, water on your feet. Oh yeah. yeah. And then we go, and then I really like it when. Yeah, gardens, and I think I remembered him gardening pumpkins. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and vegetables to eat, like carrots. Carrots. <laughs> and I really like it when Mama and Yaya has a really big anniversary, and it's with a lot of people, and we really get to enjoy it. Happy birthday, Mama.